Sunshine Coast, by its own admission, is a community of communities. 30, in fact, from Caloundra in the south to Noosa in the north. But that's about to change as the council embarks on the biggest single endeavour it's ever undertaken. Past 15 years, 75,000 people have moved to the Sunshine Coast. By 2030, our population is expected to swell to half a million. To cater for this incredible expansion, Sunshine Coast Council is teeing off on an Australian first that will change the face of our region forever. It's been the home of Horton Park Golf Club since 1950 and over the next quarter of a century, this humble golf course will morph into Australia's first truly smart city, using digital technology to assist with everything from car parking to garbage removal and security. On completion, it'll house 4,000 people and be the workplace for 10,000 more. Sun Central's the brainchild of a bunch of boffins, being led by Sunshine Coast Mayor Mark Jemison. You need a place where people go to celebrate, where people go to protest perhaps, where people go to challenge things, uh, and indeed where people go to enjoy themselves and conduct commerce and business. Sunshine Coast Council stumped up more than $42 million for the golf course, and Councillor Jemison, for one, thinks it's a bargain. Recently, the big top shopping centre on a three and a half hectare site in Maroochydore sold for $85 million. We've got a 53 hectare site on which to build our CBD. And there's another 32 million it's borrowing from Queensland Treasury, all before the first sod's been turned. So that 70 mil will be paid off sometime. Well, it'll be paid off progressively over the life of the project. At the end of the project, we anticipate that Council will have invested uh, around $400 million. And he's even daring to contemplate a profit. This is, like again, um, forecast to be uh, um, um, cost neutral. Yeah. But, you know, that's, that's a conservative estimate. I'd, I'd, I'd anticipate actually we'd make money out of it. Absolutely. Former Sunshine Coast Council CEO John Nags has the task of selling this mammoth project. It's important to understand that a 53 hectare site as large as this, and given the market of the Sunshine Coast, this is a 20-year program of development. But a Sun Central simply too big. This is a massive project for a relatively small region. Economic planning academic Stephen Boyd believes it can be a success. It's so critically important at this stage to establish a real identity, a real value proposition for why this is going to work and why people want to come here. An idea echoed by Joe Reba of the Maroochydore Chamber of Commerce. If everyone knows what their identity and their function within the Greater Sunshine Coast is, uh, then we can create something that is really competitive with other regions within Australia and not inwardly competitive with each other. But at the end of the day, the great um, uh, dividend uh, the great legacy for Sunshine Coasters is that we will have the most magnificent new city uh, where 40% of that space will be maintained as open space and waterways. Uh, the magnificent gardens, public art, roadways, cycleways will all be an asset of Sunshine Coast ratepayers and we estimate the value of that in excess of $300 million. Major earthworks at the site should begin in the next fortnight.